Hi there. Oh, my far away here. Uh, quite a few months ago, just after I returned from the, uh, new, my trip down under to New Zealand, um, friends and I uh, and my husband, we went for a few days away. And we normally choose a point of interest, somewhere where we think that we can learn a bit more about our own heritage or our country or, or that the area itself is something that we enjoy. We love bushwalks and, you know, just generally being out and about. Because of Sean, we also um, choose our areas so that he is uh, able to manoeuvre his walker and that sort of thing because of his uh, disability. Well, we're on the road again, having another few days away with Sean and Ali. Uh, time for coffee. And uh, let me show you around. Right. Just, I'm just stretching my legs before we get back in the car and do some more driving. How lovely. The weather isn't too bad. It's actually not cold, but it's just a bit overcast. We're very much a country full of rivers, and there aren't always bridges to go and uh, to cross. And so we have a lot of ferries, small ferries or large ferries, and some are only just for um, pedestrians and bikes, and others are for cars. And so uh, want to cross this river, there are various opportunities along the way. It used to be the ferry buildings where travellers could stay the night um, before they crossed over. And um, it now serves as a event centre for weddings and stuff and just coffee on the way and somewhere to sit and with lovely warm weather of course I've got tables and chairs outside as well. Hi there, well we've had a long day on the road today the weather wasn't quite as nice as what we'd hoped, and certainly not what we counted on. Um, but we did take a cardi, so we should be all right. And hopefully tomorrow the temperature will be up a bit. We're in a wee place called Erika. Just how you write it, E-R-I-C-A. Apparently it's uh, got a golf course and all sorts of fitness things. But we normally just sort of seek some of these way out of the way places just to get away for a couple of days and uh, discover the area. So it's not like we're wanting to do a lot of things around the hotel, but just that we're um, quite happy to just be away and not be home and and just uh, spend a bit of time together with Sean and Ali and, um, and discover our country. Yeah, because there's so much to see. You know, people say, oh, the Netherlands so small. But believe me... There is so much to discover, and it's fun. But anyway, we've organised to have dinner at 6. I was at 7.30 was a bit on the late side. Okay, so now we're in the hotel, and we have no idea what we're going to have for dinner. So I'm just going to go down now. I've just got changed and freshened up a bit after the long drive. I stopped here and there for a cup of coffee and a snack. So um, off I go for my dinner. <laughs> area that we went to is a peat area. Now the Netherlands was greatly covered by peat. Um, we wanted to know more about it. 
And this open air museum uh, gave us a lot of opportunity to discover more about how our ancestors coped in this time. Now I looked up some information and well, I haven't kind of memorized it all. So <clears throat> two and a half thousand years ago, the greatest part of our country was covered in peat. And um, it was discovered that this was a good fuel source, etc., and um, and could be used for other, um, you know, other purposes. So it became an industry. Uh, and due to the uh, excavation of it and the taking off of the layers, um, our country became lower and lower, uh, and so therefore again under sea level. And it's just as well that we had a lot of people who were very clever. Um, who were able to design the windmills and the dikes. So these engineering mines were just fantastic to save our country from, you know, well, just being flooded and washed away. So, um, yes, that's how we keep our feet dry. And uh, the Netherlands is renowned for their um, housekeeping for the water. And so they are invited around the world to help with uh, many of the problems that uh, arise because of excess water. But anyway, so yes, we wanted to have a look. So this open air museum highlighted some of the uh, lifestyles and, and bits and pieces, and you also gathered a lot of information on the peat. So it was a really lovely thing to do. And um, we know more now than what we did before we went. We're at a park, informative, about our culture and about the history of my home country. This is something I don't know a lot about, about the peat. This is a peat area and there used to be a lot of activity here, a lot of villages and townships that originated because of the peat. So we're now going to um, go through this park and learn more about it. The weather's improved to yesterday. I hardly videoed anything yesterday. It was dismal and pathetic, really. So. Um, Okay, here I go to uh, Adfain Park. Okay, so the sun's up and off we go. I just want to show you this bridge, it's quite amazing really, and it's a turn bridge, so here, it's actually open at the moment, and actually turn it, quite a good system, it's got a winch, and then it's just uh, with a handle that's cranked, and turned on a dial. And then you can cross to the other side, and now it's open for boat traffic. And talking about boats, beautiful.
Well, good morning. We're off. We're on our way home today. It's always lovely, you know, we have two nights away and it's almost like you've been away a week. <laughs> but anyway, we'll make it a, a fun day today. We are going shopping. We have discovered this huge shopping mall. So we're going to have a look at that. But this was the hotel where we were. It has its own golf course. Um, it um, boasts its own golf course and a wellness centre. Uh, mixed feelings about this hotel. There it is. It is lovely. It's only, uh, I don't know, about four, five, six years old or something. Well, we've got a few queries about the service and all that, but apart from that, had a good sleep and um, very quiet here. Very, very, very quiet, which was lovely. So um, onward and upward, shopping we go. watching this video and um, in a couple of weeks time our friends Sean and Ali and my husband and I will be off on another little tour of duty in our own country so um, look forward to seeing you back then. <laughs> 